Hi everyone, it's Thursday, August 25th. I'm Jim Hummel with your KATC News Brief. In St. Martin Parish, no injuries after a major apartment fire in Bro Bridge. Here's a look at the scene shortly after first responders arrived. According to police, everyone was able to make it out safely. The Red Cross is now helping out families who were displaced. Second Harvest Food Bank will be bringing their Making Groceries mobile market to Generet tomorrow. The market will have low price food items and will be located in the Max Sugar City Market parking lot on Main Street. Max Market was the only supermarket in the city and has been closed since a fire in June. The market will open at 9 a.m. and stay open until noon while supplies last. And some are waiting for callbacks after an industrial job fair today at SLCC in Lafayette. More than 30 companies were at that fair today. Some of the companies there included Stuller and Acadiana Bottling. We've had a great turnout. Um, all of our exhibitors are very happy. We have 31 exhibitors here. Um, and then so far there's been over 200 job seekers that have shown up, which is great because there's over 400 jobs available at this job fair. Let's check in on the forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Hey, Rob. Hey, Jim. Well, a stormy uh, Thursday evening across Acadiana with some locally very heavy storms and some localized street flooding. Ongoing activity, though, diminishing this evening. But fires back up just around the morning hours of tomorrow. And once again, a good scattering of showers and storms, especially along and south of the I-10 Highway 190 corridor. But we could see afternoon activity as well. So showers and storms likely in the morning. Maybe Maybe another round in the afternoon and we do it into Saturday. Maybe a little bit more of a traditional sea breeze uh, run of showers and storms, but rain chances staying on the high side. And again, a couple of inches of rain, certainly a possibility. Temperature wise, mid 70s overnight tonight. Notice those rain chances perking up again toward daybreak tomorrow. And then tomorrow rain chance at about 80%. Some locally very heavy downpours. Temperatures once again in the mid 80s and your highest rain chances morning through the mid afternoon hours diminishing as we head into tomorrow evening. As we move forward, those rain chances staying well above normal. In fact, they could go higher again Sunday, Monday, and we'll keep those rain chances above normal through much of next week and hopefully a few drier days toward the end of next week. But uh, we're not shaking the chance of storms anytime soon, and we're also watching the tropics, but no threats for right now. That's it for weather. Stay with KETC, KETC.com, and KETC Local Media for the very latest.